Wentz Financial Group presents Zips Basketball Weekly with John Gross. Investment management for your lifetime. Hosted by Joe Dunn. Contributing sponsors include Summa Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Hilton Akron Fairlawn, the preferred hotel of Zips Athletics. And the Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15-layer lasagna. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Zips Basketball Weekly with head coach John Gross, brought to you as always by the Wentz Financial Group. What a great week of basketball for your University of Akron Zips. A 15-point win Tuesday night at home against Bowling Green, then a 13-point road win up at Central Michigan on Friday night. So right now, the Zips are 19-6 for the season, 9-3 in the Mid-American Conference. Two more games coming up this week. We'll talk about those a little bit later, but Coach, considering who we were playing and where we were playing, this has to be one of your best weeks of the year, doesn't it? Yeah, no question. I thought we got back to playing the Akron way. You know, I thought for about a week and a half there we hadn't played real well. And uh, this past week we got back to playing both ends of the floor really well. Yeah. Um, I thought that uh, our energy level was really good. I thought our attitudes were tremendous. Uh, we practiced well. I thought our preparation was good. And guys were really locked in. And, you know, and, and you don't always play like you practice, yeah. but more often than not, you do. And, um, you know, we had a good week all around, and now we got to try to build on that yeah. because I think we can even play better and okay. get better. You know, one of the keys to this time of year is playing your best basketball. You want to be playing your best basketball in February and March. That's tough to do sometimes, but seems like you're on the road to getting that done. Yeah, obviously this week was a good stepping stone yeah. for that. You know, we've got to shore up some things rebounding the ball. I mean, that's right now our, our biggest issue. We've got to rebound the ball okay. better. And then offensively, you know, we've been very efficient and our, we've shot it very well. We've moved the ball well. We've been very unselfish. We've got to eliminate some sloppy fundamental errors. Uh, you know, fundamentals being passing, catching, you know, screening, pivoting, jump yeah. stopping, you know, the little things that make a big difference. We want to make sure that we value every possession on that end of the floor. And I think if we can shore up those things, the one on D and the one on yeah. O, then I think we can play even better basketball, Joe. Coach, you said something after the game up at Central Michigan that I thought was pretty unique. Uh, you wish you could keep this basketball team for the next five or ten years. You really yeah. like them. Well, the chemistry of our team is really good, and that's what you're always trying to, you know, push buttons uh, to figure out how to get guys to buy in more, be connected more. And we've got an exceptional group when it comes yeah. to that, and that obviously gives you – you know, I obviously have to have a reasonable amount of talent. We all know that. Sure. And we have a very, you know, we do have that. We have a talented group. But, you know, I think the, the separator oftentimes is their connection, their chemistry. And uh, from that standpoint, both on and off the court, they've been exceptional with that all year. Okay, right now let's take a look at some of the highlights from Tuesday night's big win against Bowling Green over at Rhodes Arena. Highlights brought to you courtesy of ESPN. And, Coach, this was the biggest game in the Mid-American Conference on Tuesday night. Bowling Green came in in first place, so not saying this was a must win, but this was a big game. You no, know, it was a big one for us. You know, they all count the same. I try to tell them that, but obviously as you're coming down the stretch here and standings are starting to shake out right. and all that, it starts to become a little bit more clear as the dust, you know, starts to settle. And uh, it was a big one, you know, big win for us. Bowling Green's a really good team. They've had a terrific year. Uh, in fact, they had a big win over the weekend as well. Uh, they're a really good basketball team, uh, very deep. Uh, they're also, I think, very, very connected. And I love their chemistry when I watch them play. And then obviously they've got a terrific player, Joe, and Justin Turner. One of the best in the league, there's no doubt about that. Zips are down early 6-5, to five, then 13-9 to nine before uh, they jump out to leads of 3-6. and six. The biggest lead of the first half, Coach, is 8 points, 35-27. That was at halftime. Yeah, it was an odd half because I thought we played pretty well, Joe. I felt like we should be up more, but the reason we weren't is we wasted possessions yeah, to start the right. game. We missed some free throws. We missed some layups in and around the paint area and around the rim, and, and uh, we didn't capitalize on those like we should have. But I thought we played, you know, other than that initial stretch there with our shot making in the paint, thought we played some really good basketball. 
Lauren Christian Jackson, Tyler Cheese combined for 25 of Akron's 35 first half points. Those guys are really playing well. Yeah, they're great playmakers. I mean, that's their role on our team, yep. and their job, and both of them have been doing that at a really high level. Wanted to mention Cam Reese, coach. He came off the bench for five points in the first half, and he continues to get a little bit better each game, I think. He does, and he provides us with a ton of energy, obviously, athleticism, his length, his motor, and he's got a physicality to him that our team needs. So he's been bringing that, and we need him to continue to bring that. It's a big part of our team. We're going to see Akron up by a point here, 45-44, before going on a run that pushes the lead up to nine at 57-48. Channel Banks, coach, five straight points, hit a three, then another two-pointer in transition, gave you an 11-point lead at 59-48. No, he had timely shot-making all yeah. week, you know, whether that was the Bowling Green home game or the Central Michigan game on the road. I mean, he, he had, uh, like I said, timely shot-making, big shots, and, you know, what you expect of a senior, Joe, this time of year. Of course, you're playing at home. We're up by 11. Then you really put on the gas and win this one uh, going away, Coach. A big win, 74-59. Yeah, no, I was proud of the guys. I thought our effort was really good. And, uh, you know, we really stayed together throughout. I thought we had great poise. And uh, obviously, Christian here making some plays yep. uh, down the stretch. And the ball's in his hands late in the game. He and Tyler, you know, we feel pretty good about that. You mentioned uh, Justin Turner, one of the better players in this league. I thought you did a great job defensively on him. He can break out at any time, but you held him to 12 points. Yeah, our team defensively was really locked in and did a great job with the game plan. There we take a look at the uh, handshake, but congratulations on a big zip win, Coach. As we said, that was a big game. We're going to play him again coming up here in a very short period of time. Yeah, we've got a few games between now and then, so we're going to yeah. lock in on those first. But, uh, yeah, they're playing really, really well. They've had a great year. Mike does a great job with them, and anytime you play them, it's a great test. Congratulations again to the Zips and head coach John Gross on that one. We're going to take a break, come back, and have a special feature. Greg Tribble, Ali Ali, go 94 feet right after this. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie-cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market, and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. I'm here. This isn't a stop on my way somewhere else. This is my way up. This city, this university, Akron is where I learn to outwork and outsmart. To aim high, then raise the bar. Because Zips never settle for less. No entitlement, no excuses, just my education. My future. I'm on the rise, and we are Akron. Okay, welcome back to Zips Basketball Week with head coach John Gross. We're going to see a feature here in a minute, coach, on Greg Tribble and Ali Ali, but these two freshmen, you were high on him when you brought him in here. Saw a great move by Ali up at Central Michigan. Went to the basket with that left-handed layup, and Tribble continues to give you good play. Yeah, they're getting better. They so, are. Uh, and very expeditiously. I mean, they really are. They fit in very well first, and I always think that's important to fit into our culture and become a part of who we are first. Give those guys credit for that. And they have just been great additions to our team, both on and off the court. A big part of what we do now, but – you know, even a bigger part of sure. our future. So we're excited about both guys and their development. Right now, let's walk 94 feet with Greg Tribble and Ali Ali. My name is Ali Ali. I'm with my teammate, Greg Tribble. Let's get to it. Uh, what was your uh, best high school moment? Uh, my junior year playing against Preston High School, I had a dunk in the beginning of the game. Everybody was going crazy over it. It went viral. Uh, what do you like to do outside of basketball in your free time? Uh, play Fortnite and talk to my girl. Uh, all right. Uh, favorite spot to eat at? My mama's spot. My mama food. I don't really have no favorite restaurant. Uh, favorite snack if you just had to get some right quick? Lifesavers. The gummy ones. The gummy worms? Yeah. Um, what's been the biggest adjustment from preseason to season, you'd say? Uh, really playing defense, really. Because, you know, in high school, you can get away with not playing defense, but one simple mistake in college, you can, you can determine the game. How, how do you feel this year has went so far for you and the team? Good. It's a good learning experience. And for us, just stand together and not let losses get to our head and keep playing. Most points in the game. 
Um, I think like 33 or something like that. Okay. okay. It was probably my junior year, I think, against Goshen in the holiday tournament. I think the first quarter I had like five or six threes, something like that, something crazy. Mm. So that was, that was a good experience. Shooter, shooter. All right, what you like to do outside of school? Uh, Basketball. Free time. I like to uh, play Fortnite. I don't want to run duos or squads with me. Try to keep up with me. I'll carry you to a dub. And uh, probably sleep. Sleep. Uh, favorite food? Uh, favorite food is probably either wings or pizza. Pizza food? What kind of pizza? Papa John's. Papa, Papa John's. John's. Pineapple pizza, too. Don't sleep on pineapple pizza. He's the best pizza out there. He's sick. He's sick. <laughs> favorite? Where do you get your wings from? Um. Uh, B Dubs, just generic. Generic. Uh, Papa John sometimes. And that's one, that's one. Favorite shoe? Favorite shoe? Um, Kobe hates. Kobe hates. All right, there's 94 feet with me and Ali. We'll holler at you. Coach, you tell a great story about the first time he saw Ali. Ali, you went over to scout and recruit another player, and you saw Ali, and he loved him. Yeah, no question. And uh, Dustin and I then kind of you know, stayed on his court and continued to watch him yeah. throughout that tournament uh, up in Grand Rapids. And then it just, the recruitment proceeded to move forward from there. But both guys, just great yeah. additions, um, you know, to our program and excited about both Greg and Ali. Hope you enjoyed that feature and those two young freshmen. We're going to take a break, come back and watch highlights from that big win Friday night up at Central Michigan. So don't go away. Roman was born with a hole in his heart. But thanks to the experts at SUMA who found the problem and fixed it quickly, he's feeling 26 again. Not 76. Minimally invasive heart procedures, many performed in under two hours. SUMA Health, vital for getting back in the game and more. Welcome back to Zips Basketball Weekly. Coach, that Central Michigan game was originally set for Saturday night. They moved it to Friday night for national TV, and your team performed well for the people across the country. Really did. I thought we did a lot of good things. I, you know, the first half, I didn't think we were overly sharp on offense. We had a lot of deflected passes, sloppy catches, some fundamental yeah. things. And then defensively, we were getting beat up pretty good on the backboard. Yeah. But yet, there we are at halftime, you know, with a lead. So it's... You know, we, our poise, I thought our poise was tremendous on the road and has been all year. And then the second half, Joe's where I thought we really did. Oh, great I mean, second I half. I thought we really played yeah. well both ends of the floor. Exactly. Right now, let's go back up to Central Michigan University, Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Watch highlights for that big Akron win Friday night against Central. Highlights brought to you by ESPNU. National TV audience coach, that always brings out the best in teams, or it should, as you said, right? Yeah, no question about yeah. it. Yeah, I always use the tiddlywinks example, right? Yeah. You should play, play that if it doesn't get you motivated. But, yeah, I thought our guys really came out, played well, had a good energy about them. They prepared well. Uh, had a little bit of sloppiness on the backboard defensively the first half. A few fundamental things offensively. I thought we really got those cleaned up. And then the second half played a uh, really good second half. And uh, I thought everybody that played really – you know, added tremendous value and contributed to the win. I'd say the uh, Chippewas, the highest scoring team in the league, coach, about 83 points a game, but kind of a low scoring game. We saw there the Zips were down 10, uh, 10 to 6, five minutes into the game. The one thing I noticed early offensively, they were trying to post up on Lauren Christian Jackson. They tried to isolate him down on the block, and I thought maybe sometimes in the second half they tried to force that too much yeah a little bit yeah. obviously it seemed to be a part of their game plan right. they tr tried to go at him early and i thought we adjusted pretty well and we did a nice job of helping in our post gaps once it got in there especially after the first couple times and and then obviously at the other end he was terrific offensively uh really dictated a lot of what we did on that end of the floor and uh, i thought did some good things for us Akron gets a late uh, three-pointer from Lauren Christian Jackson, a two-pointer in the paint by Tyler Chee. So you lead 37-34 at halftime. Yeah, that, that was 
And I felt pretty good at that point I because too. I thought we had played okay. And then the second half, obviously, again, I thought we played really well. I'll tell you, the second half, as Coach said, offensively and defensively may have been your one of your best halves of the year. You hold the chip watch only 33 points in that second half. Yeah, we really guarded. You mentioned them averaging over 80 yeah. points a game, being one of the nation's elite offensive teams statistically. And I thought our ability to defend really both games this past week, we got back to playing Akron defense and being a little bit more stingy. Ziff's break it open uh, in the second half, back-to-back -back three pointers by Channel Banks, and he continues to be kind of a streak shooter. Once he hits that first one, coach, I'm sure you want to get the ball back in his hands. No, he made some big ones. Yeah. Uh, like I said last week, made timely shots in both games, like you'd expect of a senior. Channel's a tough kid. You know, he really puts his body in plays. He's physical. He competes. Um, love his toughness, certainly brings a very important element to our team, very similar to what we were talking about earlier with Cam. Lauren Christian Jackson, coach, really, I think the story of the second half, he scored 20 of his game, leading 31 points in the final 20 minutes. Every time Central to make a little bit of a run, he'd come up with a big play. He did, and our guys did a great job of screening for him. I thought our spacing was good. Our other players really complimented him well, and uh, obviously he made a lot of plays for us. Your team shot 53% from the field. Another balanced scoring attack for the Zips. Four players in double figures. Jackson with 31. Banks with 14. Zarius Williams and Tyler Cheese with 11 each. That balanced scoring, Coach, that is really special. No question. It's what makes us good offensively. You know, obviously Christian had a big night, but it's the spacing. It's the threat of the other players that are out there. You know, and I, and I keep, I always say, you know, really our five spot is played collectively by three guys. And when you look at their three, of those three guys up statistically from a points and rebounds perspective, they average a double-double. So we've got scoring at all five positions yeah. out there, and it really makes a big difference, makes us much more well-balanced, certainly, than we were the first two years. As you said, the Zips right now are 19-6 and six overall, 9-3 and three in the Mid-American Conference. We're going to take a break, come back and announce our Player of the Week and our player on the rise right after this. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. I'm here. This isn't a stop on my way somewhere else. This is my way up. This city, this university, Akron is where I learn to outwork and outsmart. To aim high, then raise the bar. Because Zips never settle for less. No entitlement, no excuses, just my education. My future. I'm on the rise and we are Akron. Well, it may seem like a broken record, but our player of the week again this week is Lauren Christian Jackson. Coach, seems like every week we're saying great things about this young guy, but every week he does great things. No, he's playing at an elite level, um, certainly, you know, in our league and even nationally when you look at what he's doing. So, yeah. as I said earlier, when he has the ball in his hands, we all feel pretty good about that. Yes. He's making great decisions. And the amazing thing, Joe, is what he's doing from an efficiency perspective. It's one thing to score points. It's another thing to do it in such an efficient manner that helps your team win. And that's really what's been most impressive about Christian. Exactly. 28 points Tuesday night at home against Bowling Green. Then 31 points, three assists, three steals Friday night up at Central Michigan before a national TV audience. And, Coach, I, I question, when you brought Lauren Christian Jackson in here, do you envision him being this good or is he kind of – Surprised you a little bit. Well, we thought he fit our system really yeah. well. We knew how we wanted to play, certainly futuristically as we built it and felt like he was a great fit for that. Yeah. And then it was important for us, you know, we, we play a two-point guard system to find a bigger point guard to play beside him. And I, I think he and Tyler, uh, in that pers from that perspective, really complement each other really well. And uh, just our whole team, the way we've put it together from a composition standpoint, and I thought he fit it great. Um, obviously, he's really, really excelled. Yeah. You know, did I know he was going to be this efficient? Yeah. You know, uh, I don't know if you can ever guess that. Yeah. You hope. But uh, we certainly knew he was going to be really, really good. What he has done from the end of last year to where he is right now is amazing. He was good last year, but he's at another level now. He's gotten better. He's improved. Yeah. And he's gotten better mentally, emotionally. 
you know, obviously athletically, his body, uh, his skills have continued to grow, his knowledge of the system yeah. and how to play within the system uh, to help our team win has grown. Yeah, he's, he's a much, you know, much better player, certainly in a lot of areas, which is what should happen sure. for all of our guys. You know, that's what, that's what you want. You want them to transform and be better each year that they're here. Exactly. Our player on the rise, how about a young kid out of Cincinnati, Ohio, freshman guard Greg Tribble, was matched up a lot Friday night, uh, coach, with uh, senior Dallas Morgan up at Central. This kid's a, a veteran player, Morgan, but Tribble, he didn't back down a bit against him. No, Greg's not going to back down. Greg's yeah. competitive. He's tough. Learning his way, man, and obviously biggest thing for him is to adjust uh, with, from a fouling perspective, and I think he's gotten better at that. Uh, and just, you know, he's done a really good job of getting acclimated very quickly and figuring out, you know, how he fits in with this team and, you know, really, exci really excited yeah. about him because I think he's going to be really, really good. He's good now. He loves the game, Joe. Yeah, he he's going to continue to work uh, because he loves it so much, and he's going to do nothing but get better. You can see his athletic ability. He takes it to the basket. His ability to hang in the air and get contact and still put it in, that's, that's something that's pretty rare. No question. No, he has freakish uh, yeah. athleticism. Yeah, his genes are probably a little bit better than mine and yours. A little bit, I would say, <laughs> Coach, for sure. Better than mine, for sure. But the congratulations to those two guys. Hey, as we said, two more big games coming up this week, beginning Tuesday night up in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Western Michigan coach, uh, they've had a couple big wins this year, so they're dangerous on their home court. Very dangerous. You know, any team this time of year, you're in league play. I mean, they're all grinders, Joe. Everybody's very familiar with each other, and trying to take away personnel tendencies and schemes. And, you know, it's hard, man. It's hard to win league games this time of year in February. And because uh, you're playing teams oftentimes, as we are this round, a second time with Western Michigan. Yep. Johnson and Flowers are terrific. Yep. Two great players. And uh, good enough, you know, they, could, they can dominate a game individually or collectively. You've got to try to slow those guys down. And then Hawks teams are always really physical. Yeah. So you've got to anticipate the game being physical and do a good job on the backboard. We mentioned their big home wins. They have knocked off Kent and Ball State at home. Those are two pretty good teams to be. Great beat. wins, you know. And, and any team in our league can win on any given night. If you uh, follow the league at all this year, the parity is ridiculous. You know, Coach Ford and I were talking yesterday about the difference between our first stint at Ohio and now our second stint here at Akron. And I, I just think the parity um, looms so much larger uh, in our second stint here at Akron. Uh, you know, coaching top to bottom, the players top to bottom, west-east balance. I mean, it's, it's just a great league, Joe. Tip off Tuesday night up in Kalamazoo will be 7 o'clock. Then the Zips come back home Saturday afternoon. Remember, it's a 4 o'clock game Saturday afternoon against the Red Hawks of Miami, who always cause trouble for people. Yeah, no question. You know, again, it's league play, and it's the second time we'll be playing them as well. you got to be better than you were the first time, and that's always a challenge, right? So uh, we expect and hope for a great crowd. You know, we've got a doubleheader, come out and support our women. And then uh, we play right after them, and uh, we're excited about uh, about Saturday. But we got to make sure we do a good job on Tuesday first, and take it one day at a time. They had a big win this past weekend, 65 to 60 over a red hot Northern Illinois team. They did a huge win, and uh, you know anybody's capable in our league. I think it shows that here late in the year. You've got to come ready to play. The team that plays the best that day is going to win, and you can throw all the other stuff out. So. We've got to make sure we're ready and can control what we can control. They have one of the better freshmen in the league, I think, in uh, Day Day Grant. They also have 6'8", Bam Bowman. They have talent, and they'll come in here wanting to win. Yeah, and obviously those two guys are really good players, and yet we didn't even mention their two leading scorers in Sabandi and That's Delonte right. Brown. So they're really, really talented. They're athletic, and Jack does a good job. So we'll have to be ready to go. Congratulations again, Coach, on two big wins. Great week. Uh, wins over Northern Illinois or over uh, Bowling Green and also Central Michigan. This week, hopefully a couple more. We'll be back here next week to talk about it. For head coach John Gross, I'm Joe Dunn. Back next week with more Zips Basketball Weekly. Have a great week, everybody. Wentz Financial Group presents Zips Basketball Weekly with John Gross. Investment management for your lifetime. Hosted by Joe Dunn. Contributing sponsors include Summa Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Hilton Akron Fairlawn, the preferred hotel of Zips Athletics. And the Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15 layer lasagna.
This has been a presentation from Learfield IMG College.